So I'm sitting here in my car at uh, McDonald's using some of their Wi-Fi and I wanted to just send out a, a, a quick reminder and thought to all those who were at Oasis uh, last week. You guys were awesome and I just want to let you know I was thinking about you and I wanted to remind you of some of the things that we talked about while we were there. One of the biggest things that I want to remind you of is, is that even though school has started back and even though the routine is, is getting back to normal, that your life doesn't have to be normal. Uh, God wants you to be extraordinary, and He uses ordinary people in extraordinary ways. And so as you're back at home, going back to your routine, remember that you are different, that God is calling you to be real during this time. And as you're real, God will use you to make a really big difference. One of the key things to making a, a really big difference is, uh, again, in the choices that we make. I talked about several different choices uh, from daily decisions to life-changing decisions and then decisions about making decisions. Uh, today, you need to focus on daily decisions and decisions that you need to make every day from this point forward in your life. Uh, focus on you know, when you're going to have your quiet time or time with God. Focus on how much time you're going to spend in prayer and who you're going to be praying for and what you're going to be praying about. Focus some time and energy on uh, what daily habits and practices that you want to make a part of your life every day from this point forward. And as you commit yourself to those things, those things will shape your life and change you for the glory of God. The second uh, type of decision is life-changing decisions. Uh, I talked a little bit about that with you guys and gave some examples of what those might be, like you know where you're going to go to college or who you're going to marry, and, and ultimately what you're going to do with Jesus Christ and, and how you're going to live out your faith for Him. And so today, let me encourage you to focus on those life-changing decisions um, if you made a decision for Jesus Christ while you were at camp, be willing to share how that decision has affected your life. Uh, be in prayer about the other life-changing decisions that you will be making soon, like where does God want you to go to school, and, and be in prayer for that person that one day you will marry. Uh, pray that God would shape their hearts and shape their lives so that when you come together, you will be more effective for the glory of God as one, as opposed to being separate. The third and final uh, type of decision that we talked about was decisions about making decisions. And the point uh, behind that phrase is that it's important to make decisions about future decisions, about how you're going to make those decisions, and being careful to not make decisions in haste or in a rush or when you haven't considered the cost. Jesus talked much about considering the cost, especially when it came to following him. And when we make that decision to follow him, it affects every other decision that we're going to make. In the same way, we have to make some decisions now about what's important to us, what we value. And as we make those decisions, they will affect every other decision we make. So make sure you make good decisions now, because they do affect your future. One final thought about making decisions. Uh, I say this phrase a lot, and it goes like this. Your life will be the sum total of the choices you make. And recently I've added this little last part that says, and those choices will make all the difference. You know a lot of people who come back from camp who have made decisions after decisions after decisions, and, and yet they are not following Jesus today. They're not living what they say they believe. And the reason is because of the daily decisions. You see, we have to decide today, but discipline ourselves tomorrow. And when we do that, those decisions shape our lives. They make us into the person that we are becoming. I believe this, that if you want to make a difference, you have to be different. 
But when you are different, you can make a difference.